going on, Joey? I'm living the dream. Speaking of living the dream, last year, um, it was kind of like a tale of two, two and a half of a year. You know, the highs of making the team and then the injury. How did you deal with that point? And what did, how much of that did you take away to help you prepare for this year? First of all, I just kept my faith high. You know, I got a strong support system, especially with my family and my, you know, my team around me. So I just attacked every day as if I was going to play on Sunday. I was in the rehab room just working, continuing to work as if I was going to suit up that Sunday. They never really allowed me to get down on myself. So I just, I was never actually down. So, yeah. Was it difficult for you to get back to that point? I mean, things were happening for you last year and then you get hurt. Was it difficult to get back to that point where, hey, I'm going to attack this and come back as the same guy in the ball? No. Nah. When you say they wouldn't let me get down, who was the they that you're They, I'm just speaking of my mom, Jay Laney, Veronique, uh, Asiana, Coach Reed, Eric Bienemy, uh the athletic training room, Tiff. You know, she very hands-on with my my rehab. Like, I, I owe a lot to God, but I owe a lot to her because she really was hands-on and didn't, didn't really let me give up. There were some days I was like, Tiff, I don't want to do this, but she stayed on me. And, and and made sure I fought through it. So shout out to Tiff. Yeah. With with um with catching touchdown passes and then seeing sort of the offense change over the course of obviously the season and the offseason, how much will your experience last year sort of help you get a feel for what this new offense is gonna look like? Um It's kinda hard to say. I mean I just me me personally I just go out there and play football. You know, I just do I just do what's being asked of me. I don't really get to overthinking it that much because then you get to creating mistakes and whatnot. So I just go out there and just have fun and play football and just cut it loose. Do you, do you feel 100% right now? I feel like I'm ready to go. And, and what what part of the offseason maybe did you sense, okay, I, I feel like maybe I did last year? Hmm, that's a good question. I would say probably right when OTAs ended. You know, I got a lot of reps during OTAs, but one, once it ended and I was able to go home with my trainers up at Top Shelf and Steph and work on my breaks and whatnot, I felt like I was, I was ready to go at that point. Last season, you, you, you spent, last off season, you spent time working on blocking to help you transition to a tight end. Outside of the recuperation and rehab this off season, what do you think you focused on as part of your craft? Patience. I allow uh, not rushing my routes so quickly, allowing everything just to seeing where I fit into the puzzle, where I fit in the grand scheme of things, you know, not trying to be, not trying to do too much, trying to do my job to the best of my ability. Coming back from injuries like this, you know, in a surgery like that, you, know, you go through a process where there's checkpoints that you hit, where you're like, okay, I can do that now, I feel comfortable. You know, getting hit probably the next big one for you. Or, do you feel ready for that? Or do you, you want to see how you're going to do when you get hit and pop back up? I'm like that. I'm not worried about no hits. None of them. Are you, are you, are you ready for that? Though? I'm ready for that. You? I'm re no, I'm, I'm ready for it. How were you able to cultivate a, a chemistry with Patrick Mahomes? Obviously, the touchdowns last year, but it seemed like y'all had a connection even early in camp so far this year. No, Pat's a great. Just a great, obviously everybody knows he's a great quarterback, great leader, but he's even greater off the, behind the cameras and all that, because he actually cares about everybody that's out here. I remember being out here my rookie year, and he came up to me and was like, man, you got talent. And I was just trying to put it together. So, you know, being out here, uh, we went out there, what was it? Before OTA started down in Texas, I wasn't able to run routes quite, but I was still, you know, catching the ball, being around the team, and just listening to the chemistry, just listening to what's going on. So I felt as though that allowed me to, you know, to play my part. And be in there. With the um, with, with playing last year, Joey, is there a different confidence coming into a camp like this? Because you've already lived part of your dream. Obviously, now it's, it's sort of a new era to to get back to what you were doing. Or is there or is there sort of the same mentality going into any camp? Same mentality. It's just it's a doggy dog environment. That's how I see it. What kind of dog are you gonna be? Thanks, Joey. Thank you. Thank you.